is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. G'day there, podcaster. And welcome to episode 700. <laughs> There's obviously been more than that, um, like, you know, over the years. Oh, yeah, yeah, the numbers are 666. The, the other numbers week. are grossly out, but did you, yeah, did, apparently, you count, I, like I, all the podcasts we've ever done. Yeah, we'd be into the <laughs> thousands. Into the thousands. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you're, you're taking literal years. This is 700 uh, at Nova of the regular pod. Obviously, there's like <laughs> there's probably like double that because we do like two or three extra pods. Yes. And then um, so I wait, also think I miscounted start, a few times. Is this the start of 2020? Is that what? Yeah, you're roughly. Yeah, right. I think so. Episode episode one. Why did that get really loud? What is going on over there? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, I suppose episode one was like January third, 2020, or something like that. So look how far we've come. Um, Would you say that episode three beats episode one? Sorry. I tried doing a Star Wars thing for you. It didn't work. Oh, you were trying to say, is episode three better yeah, than one? Yeah, like Revenge yeah, of the yeah. Sith better than Phantom yeah, Menace? I don't know. Sort of thing. Do what did you prefer about episode three? I, I thought you might get it and go, wow, she did a Star Wars, but no. Nah. Mm. It was such a it was, stab you know, in the dark. I, I mean, I liked understand. Star Wars, but I, I do recognise numbers before I recognise, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I'm not, yeah. I'm, you know. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy Although the pod. what I would say... No, enjoy the pod. Episode three <laughs> was with Chris Hemsworth, so... Chris Hemsworth and Star Wars? <laughs> Back on the podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we kind of peaked the then. When we had Chris Hemsworth oh, on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. cool. Enjoy, Sorry. Enjoy <laughs> guys. Bye-bye. Ben and Bell, there's a new show on Nova Sunday nights. It's called Confidential. Um, it's hosted by J-Mo and Tanya Hennessy. Love those guys. Um, but the, i, I got to be honest, the show... Maybe it wasn't my thing. It wasn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? Oh. Well, it, it's called Confidential, um, but it's all about, like, celebrity goss. It's very Hollywood. Uh, J-Mo was actually, he was in LA the whole time. Oh, wow. Crossing to Australia. Cool. So, Well, I guess that's why it's confidential, because it's all the confidential Hollywood secrets. Yeah, I get, I, I get that, Ben. But I, I thought it was going to be a show where they just leaked confidential company secrets, like just like goss around Nova. And because I thought, you know, that would be a juicy show. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. like, all, all the things happening behind the scenes, like the stuff with all the, yeah. you know, all the, yeah. all the red tape around it. So I, I've actually, I've demoed it up and uh, I want to know what you guys think. Because I, I, I was <laughs> thinking I could, I could, I could actually do like Nova's Confidential. And it's just like me, like releasing all the, all the stuff I've heard. I'm yeah. intrigued. Yeah. Yeah. Have a listen. This, this is Confidential on Nova. Hello, it's Sunday. It's Liam Stapleton here, host of Confidential, spilling the tea on all Nova Entertainment's company secrets, completely confidential, from the manila folders in the HR filing cabinet, direct to your radio. Big show tonight. We're revealing the CEO's wage and the real reason why Grant from Promotions has had so much leave this year. Hint, glug, glug. This (laughs) is Confidential on Nova. Few texts coming through to 1-800-GOSSIP. One here from Anon underscore employee 87. (laughs) Good luck to Jane MacArthur in sales on maternity leave from today. Word on the street is her husband Kevin is not the father. Just love her. (laughs) (laughs) Spicy. Another one here from Not Mike from Accounts. Congrats on eight years of the company, Greg. I'm sure a second written warning for stealing office property isn't what you had in mind for a present. Lol. And there's just a photo here attached of Greg cleaning his desk, looking very sad. Ouch. Confidential. Just give me, give me one over. It's Nervous Confidential. Brittany and Joel kissed at the Christmas party. They were both reprimanded, but their spouses never found out. Just thought you should know. <laughs> anyway, it's time for the redundancy call. Confidential. Hello? Hey, is this Kim? It's Nervous Confidential. Uh, am I on it? Mate, you're being made redundant tomorrow. What? Just bring a support person to the meeting. Bye. Oh. Oh, don't cry, Kim. Just sue for unfair dismissal. Remember the old receptionist, Charlene? Yeah, she did that. Just got a cheeky $45,000 settlement. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but this is Nervous Confidential. <laughs> this is Confidential on Nova. You're not not listening to that show, am I right? 100%. I reckon I'm going to try and get it across the line. I reckon you got a winner. (laughs) You got a winner. That's just what I thought the original show was. (laughs) I thought that's the obvious choice. 
For great deals and cheeky getaways, whatif.com has just the place. A winter hideaway is great, but bring on spring. Jump on the What If app to book hotels, apartments, holiday rentals and more. What If? It's Aussie for travel. Belle, I noticed you've already had an outfit change this morning. Is it because you are afraid we'll pay out your other outfit that you were wearing when you came in this morning? My jacket. Yeah. Was she wearing the Terminator jacket again? She was again? wearing the Van Helsing wore, jacket again. Yeah, yeah but I wore it The Doctor yesterday. Who one. Ben I Landon Blades <laughs> on your radio. You know, because we, we got given these like Nova puffy jackets and they're really you nice. You feel like it's safer. It's like wearing a school <laughs> uniform, like you can't be picked yes. on, you know? All, All the same. <laughs> I've been wearing, so yeah, we were lucky we got given these like little puffer jackets that had like Nova branding on them. And I wouldn't really wear them in public, but I do wear it when I walk the dog. And when I was wearing it, I was public. thinking... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's like... That's that's out and about. Yeah, but I wouldn't wear it to like the shops. When I walk the dog, I don't talk to anybody. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Uh, and the jacket, pretty cheap. Like it's oh pretty my cheap. God, you can't the say sleeves that. are like real gross. Like you can feel yeah, the elastic in the sleeve. Look how gross that is. Well, if you win one, well, yeah, guys, like, uh, just know it's not top, top notch we, quality. What We're not I will giving say, away Nova puffers as so prizes. What, like, what are these for? Are these are these more? I for, don't know um, why we got them. I don't. I feel like a bit of like a Casanova, you know what? but There's they actually, do make you a bit sweaty. They're not like that mm. technology that does. You know what? I've seen a few of them. Like people, not everybody took theirs home. So there's a couple of them on the table out there. If you want a Nova Puffer... There's also vests. There's vests as well. We if you vests. would like one, 13 24 10, give us a buzz. Every caller who gets on for the 610 quiz next is walking away with a Nova Puffer. They're not asking you away. <laughs> it's 6-10. Hallelujah, it's 6 Teresa and Eltham, first time playing the 610 quiz. Yes, it is. I'm excited. Nice. Did you, I'm did, not normally up this early. Yeah, did you, and, you, and you called up for a Nova puffer vest. I did. I, I need a new puffer. <laughs> and having like a Nova a... one would be awesome. Yeah, no, that, that, look, hey, they'll become a collector's item. Teresa, would you like the jacket or the vest? Mm. I prefer the jacket, please. I can't stress enough that it's not merch. It's like it's supposed to be like staff. <laughs> staff. But anyway. But that's what makes it so exclusive. Yeah, but you know what? It doesn't say crew or team. It doesn't say. Yeah. It just says Nova on yeah. it. So yeah. well, I, it could be. Right, I will Teresa. say mine's thread is coming out already. Oh. Yeah, they're not they're not the best quality. Yeah. I certainly hope there wasn't some sort of deal where we have to talk about how good the vests were to get them. Uh, all right, here we go. Five questions. Let's see how you go. Hey, Scotty Cam is leaving the block after this year, apparently. This is big news. What's his catchphrase when time is up on the show? Oh, um, I'm a huge block fan. What's his catchphrase? Catch you'd think you'd know this then. It's because always, oh, it's always at the end of the week when they're all scrambling oh, and they're painting. Normally, and they're... He goes like, normally he goes, and then he says it. Time's up. What would what, you say? Time's up. Time's up. No, <laughs> you've not watched the walk, have you? You're lying to us. Teresa. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa. Wait, did uh, she get a vest? No, oh, no I, I think I said every caller gets one. Oh, no. <laughs> you get a vest. I need, I need the vest. Yeah. T- Teresa, you will get a vest. You will not be awarded with sleeves. You only get sleeves <laughs> if you answer a question right. So we will move now to Danny in Caroline Springs. Do you know what Scotty Cam says when the show's over? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. no. Well, only uh, only a vest a for you, I suppose. Um, I don't know if we have that many vests to we give don't. away, but we'll just we'll, look, we'll, we'll have a look in the cupboard, see what we can find. 13 24 10 is our number. Give us a buzz if you want to win a puffer jacket. <laughs> Matt in West Meadows. What does Scotty Cam say on the block? Tools down. He's yes. done it. Target and Kmart are set to merge into a superstore. What's the four-letter home brand that makes everything Kmart sells? Oh. Home? No. no but like the curly I, one. I, I think it's easy for Belle because she's. Um, shops at Kmart. It's yeah. like it's on the tag of everything yeah, you buy at Kmart. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, I don't starts think Maddie's shop at Kmart too much. Yeah, Amy Lane Everyone Geelong. Shops at Kmart. Do you know the, the Kmart brand? Yes, Anko. That's the one. Nice. Would you like the fun fact of what Anko stands for? Go on. Um, no idea. <laughs> a new kind of, apparently. Mm. Oh, no. that's a fun fact. It's yeah. a fun fact. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, Matt oh. LeBlanc. 56 today. Who does he play in the Friends series? Who did you say? Sorry, I couldn't hear. Matt LeBlanc. Who does he play in the in the show Friends? Uh, is that Joey? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, Germany smashed Morocco 6-0 in the Women's World Cup in Melbourne last night. Named after the capital of Germany, what's the name of a donut with no hole and jam in the middle? 
You can also get custard um, ones. This is a hard I've quiz. I've never heard of this. I would not before. get this. I've never heard of it. That's never a heard. tough I mean, one. When I, I say it though, you're like, oh no, now I feel like a doofus. I think. <laughs> I've got the answer in front of me. I've never. Heard You've never of heard of that. Before. Amy You've Lee. never heard of a custard or jam, but Amy Lee. Besides jam, what's another filling inside a donut? What custard? Great. We'll, give it to you. we'll take that. Well, the answer, uh, the original answer, is a what? Berliner. You've never, never heard of a Berliner heard before. I've heard of a Berliner, but I would never get that correct. You guys are stupid. Never heard of it. You've never heard of Berlin? Well, yes. Yeah. Oh, I've that's completely well, just, just well, oh, everyone's making me sound like an idiot, but I'm like, <laughs> you're the guys who've never heard of a jam or custard Berliner. Anyway, this has been a long enough quiz. Let's wrap this up. The guy who does the voice of SpongeBob has come out and said he isn't dating Ariana Grande. Neither am I. Uh, can you finish these lyrics? Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he! SpongeBob SquarePants! If not a full nonsense, be something you wish! SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> and drop on the deck and flop like a fish! SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. Very good. Well done, Amy. You got it correct. You win some sleeves on that vest. So congratulations. You'll be looking. You'll be the talk of Geelong in your Nova 100 vest. People go, oh, do you work there? And you go, no, they did this thing once. So they gave away the staff jackets on here for some reason, um, even though we may not have the stock. But anyway, you enjoy. It'll keep you nice and warm. Of course. Lovely. Uh, you also get to choose the next song we play, Amy Lee. So do you want to hear Galantis? Or are you in a Matchbox 20 mood? It has to be Matchbox 20 every day of the week. It certainly does. I don't know if I'm good enough. I'm a little bit the song hits a little different when you do realise what it's about. Mm. It does hit a bit different. Yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah. We were like, oh, I wonder what it's about. And then we like played it and then we like read into it. We're like, oh, it's actually not a fun. Yeah, it's not a fun song. No, I think no. that would be the last time we play that. No, well, well no, no. You can I mean, play it's... songs about that. Really? That's what he's well, done the song yeah, no, for. No, the, the song That's is sung. Is, Bill. The song's sung from the perspective yeah, of okay. Thomas's emotionally abusive ex-girlfriend. So Rob... Thomas was getting yep. pushed around and he was letting it happen. And Bill doesn't want to play it anymore. No, Poor no. Rob. Are we no. going to cancel Rob Thomas's ex-girlfriend no. from 1996, are we? No, I'm just... Okay, fine. All right, fine. We can play. Okay. If you yeah, want your way, yeah. we can cancel him. Yeah. No, no, no. that's no, what you no, want. No, no, not canceling. Okay. I think we all just learned... We learned a good lesson this we morning. Did. We yes. did. We did. We did. Some, sometimes the there's, there's pain behind the art we enjoy. Well, it's yeah. just when you say, I want to push you around and I will. And then you yeah, realise, yeah. oh, that's yeah, a sad yeah. song. Yeah. Yeah. Most of, there's a lot of songs that I sing without even <laughs> completely... <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you, the one that I only recently learned, um, Pink, I'm Coming Up, gets party started. Does that mean What's she... What's that about? She, um, I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. Oh, as under, she's under the influence. Yeah. I oh, no, Pink, she was Pink, Pink, Pink doesn't do that sort of stuff. No, she's a punk girl, but she's got a good heart. She I doesn't, didn't she... realise Pink party. No, no, no. Pink... You don't think, looking at Pink back in the day that she partied. Mm-mm. No, no, Pink's just a nice She's nice a nice mum. mum now. She doesn't, she stays away from, yeah. she's a rock chick, but and she has fun, but uh, she doesn't <laughs> she drink does or anything nice like that. She looks more like she would get caught speeding than doing drugs to me. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> She had fluoro pink hair. <laughs> Yeah, she but, yeah. everywhere. Fluoro pink hair and piercing doesn't mean that they like love partying. True, 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 true. It, it but is... they do love speaking. <laughs> Obviously, it's a, it's a quite a you know, it was a quite a druggy look. I will say that. <laughs> ben and Belle, I can never go back to the hot springs in the Mornington Peninsula. I was telling you guys yesterday about how Sarah, my fiance, and I had a romantic weekend away there. You can do day trips, or you can like stay the night. We stayed over. Uh, it, it, it is a bit culty because it's like they're all about relaxation. So the whole time they want you wearing robes, and you can change them. There's like lots of spots where there's like fresh ones. And stuff. That's okay. That's while how you, it tastes. So, so why would you need to change your robe? Oh, because the, the robe might get wet. 
you know, from being right. in the Springs. Okay. So, like, we had a dinner booked in there, and they're like, make sure you wear your robes to dinner. To dinner? To dinner. Okay, that's weird. I don't like that. So, so we pulled up in, in um, thongs and white bathrobes to the restaurant, because <laughs> we thought that was the thing to do. Cause <laughs> well, they, they said Well, to. they said that that's what you do. Yeah. No one else did. So... <laughs> We were the only ones. So like we, we sat there in a restaurant sitting down next you to people in like jeans and shirts. And Why like, didn't you go get changed? Well, because it's like a, bit, like a bit of a walk from where they're... Yeah, so like, so... And like, we, you know, we were planning on going back into the springs after dinner. Yep. And, it, but we, and we had just been in them. So we were like wet in robes, like looking like we just had a bath, like eating dinner. Anyway, like it was embarrassing, but like dinner was, was really nice. It was lovely. And um, like, you know, they, it was like we had dessert as well. So we were sitting there and eating some chocolate pud. And um, Sarah dropped it on the robe. And she was freaking out because it's like saucy brown and it, sort of, it looks sus. It looked a little <laughs> bit sus. And I was like, oh, like, you're in trouble, like trying to make her feel bad. Like, oh, my God, they're never going to get that out of the robe. And she, she was actually like a bit upset about it. So she sort of like tried to fold it up like so you couldn't see it. And we mm. sort of sheepishly left the restaurant. And I said, like, I don't care. Like, just like give it to me. I, I'll put it on. I don't really mind. Like, whatever. And um, so then after dinner, we, we pulled up to one of the hot springs. It was nice, you know, relaxing. This was, this was one of the ones that was like reserved for just the people who were staying the night. Like most of the people have left for the day at that mm. point. It's a bit quieter. And so we were in there for a while. And then... Um, uh, our, our tent neighbours pulled up, so they were the people staying next to us. And so we left. We thought, yeah, that's that. That'll probably that'll probably do us for the night. So I said, mm. quick good day, and sort of they they went in and we left. And and when we got back to the room, um, we were sort of like getting ready for bed, brushing our teeth and whatnot. And then we were like, where's the pudding robe? Oh no. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we were like, oh my god, like was it your like no? Because I swapped like you. And then. Like we realised that when we got out of the hot springs, mm. we must have picked up the wrong two robes. Like we picked up our neighbours' robes. They got the brown robe. Now they don't know it's pud. Oh, no. They don't know it's chocolate pud. <laughs> they think you pooed on your robe. And then you left it with them, gave them the pud. So robe. they're getting out, just like, oh yeah, oh god, the dirty dogs <laughs> like that. So and then and then we had to go to like breakfast the next morning, and they were sitting there, and they so it's like they think they've been given a poo robe that we tried to. <laughs> and then it's like, what do you do? Like, do you say something? Because it's like didn't you just go straight back out last night and well, no, swap like them over? well, it's <laughs> what in the cover of darkness. <laughs> Well, yeah, it just goes. It w- it's no, it's weirder. Like it would have been weirder, especially the next morning, to be like, it wasn't poo, you know. Like just, you know what I mean? Like it's like, yeah, it's like yeah. they probably would have had to maybe work that out themselves. But like, what, like what do you do? And they yeah. would have hundred because we were the only two people, so they'd be like, that's that couple that like, you know and what I mean? If you were sitting at breakfast and you overheard you saying to your tent neighbour, it wasn't poo. You know, what happened in tent <laughs> A and B last night? You can never go back there no. ever again. We've really annoyed. The top of the uh, the company here, Ben. I don't know if you know about this, but this is like it's. I've heard whispers. Yeah, it's a real like it's a bit of a problem. Um, if you weren't listening to Friday's show, uh, Ben made the outrageous claim that the Twix chocolate bar doesn't melt in a microwave. Did you know if you put a Twix chocolate bar in the microwave, doesn't melt? That's no. not true. No, that ain't doesn't true. That's not melt. True. That is not true. I, who who told you that? I put my life on it. I would <laughs> use the show budget to give Nicole a thousand dollars if a Twix doesn't melt. I've seen a video on the <laughs> internet. Right. I'd put my life on it. I've seen so, a video. And then, the and then, so, and then Ben quickly realised when we ran down to the shops to get a Twix to do this experiment that he actually meant flake. Um, yeah, all twirl. Twirl or flake both do it. They don't melt when they're in the yeah. microwave. So a you- Twix is the one with... i got my chocolate bars confused. A Twix is the one with biscuit, and it's coated in chocolate. Yeah. And, so, caramel, and caramel, which is already basically melted. Yep, we put it in the microwave. It melted very quickly, and listener of the show, Nicole, did spontaneously yeah. get $1,000. Well, that, I mean, you said you'd put your life on it or $1,000. So we had the option then to kill you uh, on air or... Pay a thousand dollars. Either way, it was you know normally these competitions they they sort of get a get to get approved, mm. and you know look this this is the boss now. The boss is on the line. Do we have to answer? Yeah, the we got to we got to answer it. Um, okay, David. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, guys. Yeah. yeah so I was listening Friday, yeah. and firstly I immediately knew it was a flake because everyone knows it's a flake. Everyone's so seen the TikTok. Well, I'm surprised that you know when I said Twix, no one corrected me. 
Bell. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I, I you know I hadn't seen the video. I I knew a Twix would melt. Yeah. But I I suppose it does make more sense with the the you know the obviously the flake can't melt and it's probably processed it in a bit of a different with way. Little air bits. So it burns. Yeah. It burns instead of melts. Yeah. Still pretty crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, the thing was on Friday, I actually thought that you guys were doing a bid that was prearranged that you already had set aside thousand dollars. It wasn't until yesterday I found out that no no, it's not a bid. You actually gave away thousand dollars and we don't we don't actually have a thousand dollars and you don't have a thousand dollars in the show budget, by the way. So I mm. don't know where this is coming from. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, well, I, here's the thing. I thought because we were a radio station, we just had un- unlimited money. I, no, thought that we could just, I thought we could just do that. Um, no, and Nicole, no. I mean, Nicole, was, Nicole literally didn't even have to do anything. She just happened to be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> like, she had no skin in the game. She was literally on the phone for something completely different. And then we just said, you're going to get a grand if this works. Yeah, and to be honest, I thought I thought I got off pretty easy. Like When I said that and then we had to give her a thousand bucks and then no one said anything to me Friday afternoon, I was like, oh, that worked, that, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> Um, no. Yeah. Right. So you're saying we don't have the money, but like to she's give Nicole. she's already been paid the money, right? Like that's, that's yeah. Given. So we had we just have to figure out a way to get it back, but not from her. Work out the thousand dollars. Maybe right? you could dock it from Ben's yeah. pay, perhaps. Well, we could dock it from Ben's pay. Well, I mean, it's his. It's he made the outrageous yeah. claim. Let's not go crazy. Well, you were the one who said it, man. I've got an idea. Why don't we go double or nothing? Why? Why don't we? Why we, melt, we melt another chocolate. No, off. no, no. Why don't we get Nicole back? We can work out some sort of game where it's me versus Nicole, and if I win, she gets nothing, and if she can beat me, well, she has to transfer you the money. She back. gets two thousand dollars. <laughs> how about how about we don't do, do that? You know, no one. I said we don't have a thousand dollars. Yeah, we don't have two thousand dollars. But David, this is a sure thing. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, as a, about the, I know, about I know, I said, I know. But he I said would that. put his life on it, and like you know, I, 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 I must admit, David, I, I'm, I'm beginning to side with Ben on this. I yeah. think if it's a win-win, you got that if feeling. We can, I got that feeling in my gut, yeah. and if we can win the thousand dollars back from Nicole, which yeah. she probably didn't really deserve in the first place, <laughs> yeah. then yeah. you know, yeah. um, it's sort of a win. For David, us. trust me as a broadcaster. Oh. Trust me as a broadcaster that <laughs> I know that I, I know what I'm doing. I reckon. We'll go double or nothing. We'll jump into the traffic. We'll check everyone's roads. When we come back, we'll have Nicole, and I'll verse her in a game of double or nothing. Get if her she, on the line. If she beats me fair and square, she gets another thousand. And if I win, she gets nothing. We might invite her back the next day for triple or nothing. No. We'll see. You <laughs> no, know. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are the radio show that will spontaneously give its listeners a thousand dollars because they make wild, outlandish bets on air, and then they stick to them. Nicole from Keylor, uh, you scored a thousand dollars for literally nothing on Friday. You're just in the right place at the right time. You've not spent all that money yet. Have have you? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, <laughs> all right, yeah, because, you know, Ben claimed that um, uh, the Twix bar wouldn't melt if you had it in the microwave. He said he was so sure of it, he put his life on it, and you would score $1,000 if it didn't work. He didn't realise, you know, he actually meant twirl or flake. Yep. He completely got the chocolate wrong, so we had to pay you the money. But because the boss is upset, uh, we've devised a little plan for double or nothing. So I've got a game here. Uh, it's Who Am I? Chocky Bar Edition. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so you'd be like, I'm covered in chocolate. Yeah, even yeah, though right. that wouldn't scale it down. That would be pretty hard. Right. So, right. Um, Nicole, it's like, name is your buzzer, and it's just best best out of five, okay? So if you if you get three, you sort of, you've taken the thing. Um, and if you if you win, we'll give you another thousand bucks. <laughs> Sound good? But of yep. course, if you lose, ha-ha, we get it back. Such is the jeopardy of double or nothing. Okay, okay. First one. Ben and Nicole, you can take a break with me. Kit ben. Kat, I'm in Nicole. <laughs> oh, I think I buzzed in first. I said my name. <laughs> when did you say Ben? I, I mean, said Ben, ben. didn't I? Yeah, ben, go for it. Kit Kat. No, hang wrong. on. Nicole. It's wrong. No, it's wrong. What? Because if you let me finish, you can take a break with me, but I'm chunky. What is it, Nicole? Uh, Kit Kat Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point for Oh, Nicole. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're All playing right. dirty. Well, no, I'm just saying. It's like Kit Kat Chunky was what I need. That was the answer. So it's just, you just get, you got to, you obviously want to go in quick, Nicole. And Ben, but yeah. you don't want to go in too quick that you don't have the full sentence. I would say, that's, I would say that's a sub genre of chocolate bar. Okay. Well, Matt, I'm on your side. I, I want to win the money back. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little nutty, and there's a rug named after me. Is that it? Come yeah. 
I mean, that's pretty easy, guys. A rug named after me. Oh my god, are you for real? <laughs> you guys don't know. Nutty. A, nu- a nutty. Oh, Ben. Ben, go. Picnic. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, obviously. Well, no, a rug isn't named a picnic. Well, it's, a it's a picnic, picnic rug. rug. Well, yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's one on the board for me, Nicole. All right, one, one. Like toothpaste, I'm bubbly and ben. minty. Ben? Aero. <laughs> it's sub- Aero. Yes, but what's the genre? Nicole, you're going to have to lift here. You're going to need this next one to stay in it. Okay. <laughs> I'm milky and white. Nicole. That could be a trick one. Nicole, what is it? What did you say, sorry? Milky bars? It is! Yay! Oh, okay. milky, but milky bars aren't... Aren't milky bars... You can get a milky bar chocolate bar. I'm thinking milky way. Yeah, so there's milky way, that's milk chocolate, yes. and a milky bar is white Correct. chocolate. Okay. Yep. No, yep. Alright okay. guys, yep. so th- this is literally the designer. Whoa. This is huge. Nicole, you're either going to have to cough up that $1,000, or you're going to win another $1,000, and the boss is not going to be happy. So it all comes down to this. Should I do a half court shot and just <laughs> say a chocolate bar? <laughs> no. All right. I'm milky and brown. <laughs> ben. Ben. Yeah, go. Well, I think I just said it. Is it a milky bar? <laughs> no! Oh my god! It's a Milky Way, you idiot! Oh my god! We just had Milky Bar, What's the which was white, and then we do Milky. Way. Oh, you just! We've just <laughs> had to give Nicole another thousand dollars. She's won another thousand dollars. Well, clearly my strength isn't chocolate bars. So well, why did we? Know, pl- why would we play a game <laughs> based on go. chocolate this bar? This is no, ridiculous. Is ben. Oh. Look, we just explained the Milky Bar is the white one, Milky Way is the brown one. I get so confused with that. That's that's hard to understand. Well, that, I mean, that was kind of it's kind of the point of the game. Yeah, Nicole, I'm sure you're yucking it up. You're having a great time. Mate. You've just you literally two grand for nothing. Well done, Nicole. Thanks, guys. No worries. <laughs> 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 that's the boss again. <laughs> oh dear me. Hello. <laughs> You are on Nova 100 with Ben, Lamb and Bell. Not for long. I reckon it's just going to be Bell and Lamb. Because Ben is, uh, you've made yourself some enemies this morning. I mean, the boss was already angry because he gave away $1,000 for an outlandish claim that didn't come off last week. And Mm. then we decided we'd get Nicole back on, Mm. the listener who we gave $1,000 willy-nilly, and we'd play a little game for double or nothing. Yep. Uh, of course, you lost that as well. Uh, so now we've given her two thousand dollars, David, for ba- uh, basically nothing. David, really. the boss, was nutter happy. Um, I've been getting growled out for the last three minutes. Unbelievable. Do you mean chewed out? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. Say that. Say that. I think you what? might have got your wires crossed there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So well, that'll come out of a your pay. So <laughs> exciting. Hey, after eight o'clock, uh, we're going to be answering your love, sex, relationship advice <laughs> questions. Uh, you can always email loverat at novafm.com today. You, if you've got any uh, questions related to love, sex, relationships, and we can answer them for you after eight o'clock, we're going to be talking about the first time. Um, you know, if, if, if you met your partner's family for the first time and it went horribly wrong, 13, 24, 10, if you have a story for that. Ben, just can you go, please pull yourselves together. You said the wrong thing. Can you though? please pull yourselves together? That's so funny that what he said that he didn't mean to, you know, like. What did I say? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you said as a punishment. Love Rat at NovaFM.com.au. Send us an email if you've got any questions regarding uh, love, sex, relationships, and we'll uh, help you out. First, though, we do read it on uh, public radio, though. You can be anonymous if you choose. Well, today's isn't. It's from Caitlin in Seaford. She sent us an email and she said, Hey, Ben, Liam and the Love Rat. I have a horror story to share. My new partner of a few months met my family on the weekend and it did not go well. 
He's a diehard Saints fan, and my dad is North Melbourne through and through. I didn't realise that these teams were playing each other on Sunday. The whole day turned into them going head-to-head throughout the game. It got so heated and personal that I said that we had to leave before the game finished. (laughs) He's now so embarrassed, he sent my dad a text apologising but hasn't gotten a reply. I told him he isn't the only one out there to screw up the meeting. I have often thought about that because I'm very lucky with my wife, Sam. Um, I get along with her family. She gets along with mine all very, very well. But it's crazy that some people meet their partner's family and they don't get along. Well, the thing is, um, you know, Sam's dad, he's Brisbane Lions, isn't he? Yes. So, I mean, you were far too young in 2004, but being a Port fan... I mean, yeah, but he's also he's a self hating Brisbane Lions fan. Like he doesn't like the team. Like he like he, he's, he, he's, he's, anno- he's annoyed that he has to follow them. Sort of. Yeah, thing. yeah. Why does he follow them? Then? Well, I don't know. I think he probably grew up with like supporting them. And then, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Well, thirteen twenty four ten. What happened when you met your partner's family? Did it go really wrong? Anita in Sandringham. Good morning. What happened? Uh, good morning. Um, so I met my mother in law at. Um, one of their family weddings about 14 years ago um, at a wedding in Sydney. And um, she was a few um, few glasses of bubbles in. And um, when I introduced myself to her, she said to me, Anita, I, um, I, you know, Greg used to date a girl called Anita and she was so beautiful and she drove a BMW and I really wish that he'd married her. Oh, <laughs> <And> I, <laughs> yeah, right, I just dads. looked at her in horror. Wow, so are you guys still together? <laughs> like, we are still together and have three kids now. Do you sort of joke all... about that? Oh, yeah, we joke about it all the time. But um, my husband wasn't there at the time that she said it. I told mm. him after the wedding and he went in and um, we went into a hotel room and absolutely gave it to her. So oh, that's, he defended that's me, but... nice, though, that your husband stuck up yeah. for you. <laughs> but it's good. You need to be able to, you know, in this now nowadays, joke about it and say, "Oh, I mean, he's with the wrong Anita." <laughs> Anita, what were you? What were you driving at the time? This other Anita had a BMW. <laughs> what, what were you driving? I was driving like a Holden Nova thing, yeah. and um, I'd and want Beamer still Girl too. <laughs> He's still friends with that Anita on Facebook. So every time oh. he likes one of his Facebook posts, I get really cross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Seems like we're opening up another can of worms That this might morning. be another thread for us to follow on another day, Anita. Thank you very much, though, for sharing your story. We do appreciate it. Tyler in Mornington. Good morning. What happened? Hey, so I met my partner, Jack, during COVID, and um, he was home studying for the day. Mm-hmm. So I thought I'd be really nice and go drop off him some lunch with a friend. Um, we had the music pumping. It was a nice summer's day. We had the windows open, sunroof open, mm-hmm. and um, singing along. We didn't know we passed his parents at the time. They were taking the dog out for a walk. We were singing our hearts away. Mm-hmm. I soon pulled into his driveway, and they followed. Mm-hmm. Um, and they go, you're that crazy girl who just drove past us. I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that may have been me. Anyway, they said, we had a little chat, and then on the way out, I reversed down the driveway, and he had this big feature rock in his house, and my back wheel went right off it, and oh. um, yeah, brand new car didn't look so new anymore. Oh. Did you say a feature rock? A feature rock. Yeah, it's like this big, I don't know how to explain it, it's like a little statue kind of thing. Yeah, I get it. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rock they probably, in the shape of a They probably thought you were blind as well, Tyler, <laughs> if you were just swerving all over the road, singing with the windows open, crashing into things as you're leaving. Gee whiz. Obviously, that didn't go too well. Uh, Adam in Camberwell, what happened the first time you met the family? Uh, yeah, my um, my wife's Colombian, so the first trip over to Colombia to meet the family was um, was an experience. After a long thirty hour flight, mm-hmm. I wasn't actually told that you can't flush the toilet paper in Colombia. So oh. I arrived, used the bathroom, and ten minutes later, my father in law that I just met was. In rubber gloves up to his armpits, cleaning oh. out flooded bathroom. Why was he doing it, Adam? You should have done it. Well, that's what I told my wife. She went off, spoke Spanish that I didn't really understand at the time, and yeah. next minute he's turned up and I'm still sitting <laughs> on the toilet. It gives a whole new meaning to the city Bogota. It uh-huh. was full Bogota. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was <laughs> oh, Adam, mate, uh, we'll that's give great. you that family pass to the aquarium, okay? Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, make sure you visit. <laughs> no worries, Adam. You, you do sound, sound pretty disappointed that your father in law had to break up your two. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and that is fair. What's got? What's got? What's got more
news. What's got more views? Very simple. I'm uh, sorry, but every yes. time I hear that intro, I feel like I feel like it's like what's got, what's got, and then I don't really understand ever what you're saying in the what's middle of got, it. What's got, what's got more views? Right. Okay. It's the name of the game, Lee. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it's, it. <laughs> can we hear it one more time? Yeah. Is no. that, is that, is that frustrating? It just or? sort of. Yeah. yeah. What's got? What's got? What's got more views? Yeah, what's got more It's mumbly. No, 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 it's, there's something It's like, mus, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Take it mumbly. up with Audio Man Scudder. <laughs> I just feel like it needs to be clearer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, what are we going to do? You know, and you're, you're, you're I competing mean, with so much in the morning. You know, people, they're in their cars, there's traffic. You know, the kids might be in a car behind them. They've got the, the work day on their mind. They don't have time to decipher I, your cryptic I intro. I don't think it's cryptic. Anyway, uh, I've got five here in front of me. What's got more views? It's going to be Bell versus Liam. Buzz in with your name. If you do get it wrong, though, the other person gets the point. Um, what's got more views on Netflix over the weekend? The Outlaws. Have you seen that on Netflix with Pierce Brosnan and Adam Devine? Have you seen that? Oh, They're no, really pushing yeah, it. In the, it's, yeah. it's in Netflix's it's top like, ten. It's like an it's not, uh, Yeah, see, that's the thing with the top ten. It's not in my top ten because no. the algorithm is you know different. I saw? It's a lie. You know what was number three? <laughs> I'm not kidding. This came out in 2014. What was number three in my top ten last night? What? The Cobbler, Adam Sandler. <laughs> I was like, that's a flat-out lie. It's like, yeah, this is the Netflix whole thing. Netflix has been trying to get me to watch The Cobbler for like <laughs> nine years, and I'm not going to do it. So what's got more views on Netflix? The Outlaws or Extraction 2? I've heard of neither of Liam. these. Liam. I reckon Extraction 2. It's actually oh. The Outlaws. It's got 28 million over the weekend. It's the most viewed thing on Netflix. I suppose, I suppose Extraction's it's, no, it's, out a few weeks, It's the though. most viewed on Netflix over the weekend for anybody. Yeah, because it keeps pushing it into people's pages. Yeah, and Extraction <laughs> 2 is kind of tanking. 5 million. Oh. Yeah. Um, why, don't, why don't we go to free-to-air TV? What's got more views on free-to-air over the weekend? Dancing with the Stars grand final or... Port vs Collingwood on Saturday night. Liam, Port vs Collingwood. Uh, Are you uh, kidding me? I was blown Does away. Does the country when I saw have rocks this. in their head? That's Dancing funny. with the Stars had seven hundred thousand. Who won that? I have no Does idea. Anyone know? <laughs> I think Paulini was a finalist, but I don't know who won. Uh, and Port vs Collingwood had four hundred eighty-one. That's crazy. That's wild. It is wild, isn't it? I don't know. I know multiple people that watch the game, and no one. Do you know knows about this so, game? Yeah. Bell always wins just because I have a lash. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't even. She just sits there and I doesn't play, say anything and wins. I play the same way that I used to play dodgeball at school, which is stand at the hide. back, wait for everyone else to get hit, and then I come in. <laughs> uh, a bit of an update on who won Dancing with the Stars. Human Natures. Phil Burton. Oh, Phil. Phil. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know that. But he is like singing, dancing. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, it has to be like... It's not a fair fight. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, like... it's like celebrity UFC fighter, and then you've actually got, like, Conor McGregor in there. Yeah, your mate, yeah. yeah your mate was on it. Gavin Wanganine. Wasn't he on it? Was he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go, let's go no, no. to the movies. What had a bigger global opening weekend in the box office? Barbie or Avatar 2? Avatar 2. You didn't buzz in. Bell, Avatar 2. Oh, wait, no, Barbie. Sorry, Damn Bell, it. I can take your first answer. It was Barbie. <laughs> Barbie, uh, very impressive. Uh, $530 million. Avatar 2, still pretty impressive. $435 million. Wow. So that's two points to Bell, one point to Liam. Uh, what had more people watching in Australia? Princess Diana's funeral in 1997 or. The Sydney Olympics closing ceremony in 2000. Bell. Uh, the funeral. Oh, and with that, Bell Woo! gets the win. Bloody <laughs> hell. Had a lash. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm happy you did try. You got a couple. Ben, Liam, today's a very special day for me and my partner, Luke. It's our anniversary. Uh, and, yeah, look, I've, I'm in big trouble already. I have done what most would argue, and I'm not just fitting into stereotypes here, most would argue what the guy normally does, and I have not gotten Luke a gift. Just to clarify, because you only just got engaged like two weeks ago, so what anniversary have you missed? So this is our, this is our like two year. Doesn't count, though. Of being like actually I, official. I would say it doesn't matter what actually official. At this point, it's like the engagement is now what you count it from, and then you yep. get married, and then you count it from that. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to count the ga- count the engagement. Um, You're not going to count the engagement? No, no, because that's like, that's, yeah, it's an anniversary. But I think the anniversary of how long you've been together. So when you're like 50 and you say, we've been together for 30 No, no, but you years. don't say that. You say, we've been married for 
you know, 20 years. You don't, you don't, you don't, yeah. you don't say how See, long. Well, this sucks. is a whole other it argument. It sucks okay. because it's a bit of pill to swallow because I've been with my wife for eight years, but we've been married for one year. They've only been together for one year. You see? <laughs> it's <laughs> still fresh. That's, like that's the way that. he sees it anyway. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, maybe it'll change once we do get married. But at the moment, today is our two year. And like for him... It's a big day. He, we woke up this morning. My alarm mm. goes off, you know, three twenty in the morning. And poor boy, he always gets woken up at the same time. And it rolled over, and he went, "Happy two year anniversary!" And I went, "Yeah, so great!" And I went to get out of bed to start getting ready, and he was like, "So I got, I got you something. Have you gotten me something?" And I was like, "Ah, uh, look, I'm going to be honest. Nah, I have not. I didn't think about it. I knew it was coming up." But I was like, eh, to you, you know, yeah, we're, yeah. we're in the thick of it, like, whatever, I you know, you. we're coasting There's now. There's bigger we're coasting. things going on. Yeah. What, what did he get you? Well, he's like, I'll give it to you after work. Uh, like, really exciting. And I'm like, yeah, you'll get yours then too. <laughs> yeah, so you've got to go to, to uh, Eastland after this. I sure do. So he, but this is the thing with Luke. He's always like, he, he loves the anniversaries. He loves like presents. He loves mm. celebrating these days. And I'm just not, I'm not really... I, I'm, I don't play that role in our mm. relationship. I'm the one that, like I said, is usually the one that rolls over and goes, oh, is it? Two mm. anniversary? Sort cool. of re- rolls reversed almost. Yeah. Now, yeah. I don't mean this in a demeaning way, but 13, 24, 10, is your guy girly? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can, yeah, you can, ha- you know, maybe they they just love a face mask more than you do. Exactly. And, you can't, and after a big day at work, it's just putting one on, mm. yeah. just freshening up a little bit. In this day and age, like, you know, yeah, everyone does household stuff. We're, we're past that. But if your guy is specifically quite girly when it comes to certain things, 13, 24, 10. Uh, Isabel joins us now. Good morning. Is your guy girly? Good morning. Congratulations, Belle. Oh, thanks. Uh, on the engagement or the two years? <laughs> oh, both. both. Yeah, yeah. But would you agree that you only count it from like when you're engaged or married? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so my partner's girly because he loves keeping up with the Kardashians, mm. the selling sunset, below the deck so much that he described a hey you so he can get them all on. <laughs> hey you is like the one. It's the one. Yes. I think we've got it, but I've never clicked on it because it's like all Sarah's yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. I'm Did like... you say he's super into below deck? Is that the one where they all like live yeah. on the boat and they're like the life, the, <laughs> on the cruise start, ship? The cruise yeah. ship, yeah. Wow. Um, Isabel, are you are you into all of that? Um, not those shows. I love a good math, but yeah. not keeping up with the Kardashians. So does he does he watch them by himself or with you? He watches them by himself. That's cr- that is pretty nuts. Like that, yeah. <laughs> I, like Kardashians is the show that that my partners what like if I'm at work and she's off work that yeah. day or whatever. That's that that's the show that's she her, watches yes. by herself. Yeah. Yes. But he, so you're coming home and he's like, oh, bitch, Carly, I can't believe you did that. And he's trying to like <laughs> fill you in on like Love all the it. goss. <laughs> uh, Teresa joins us now. Is your guy girly? Absolutely, absolutely. My hubby is a, a tradie, and mm. do you know what his um, favourite thing to do is? What? It's actually to knit. Oh, he loves it. Uh, yeah. He just finds it so relaxing. So, you know, he, he knitted um, my sister a blanket mm-hmm. for Cute. her child, mm-hmm. and little cup holders, and anything. He, like, he even sorts out patterns that he can just make something and just finds it really relaxing while he's sitting there watching TV, which is totally what you wouldn't expect from a tradie. Yeah. Totally. But it's very therapeutic. It is very therapeutic. And it's mm. good. It's good for you. There's a lot of knitting clubs, if he doesn't know. Oh, like when that, you said yeah. cup holders, do you mean, oh, like, a, do you mean like, a, um, like a stubby holder? Is that what you mean? Yeah, look, it, uh, stubby holders or yeah. um, just like... It's like tea cozies, like, you know, for the old yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I like the idea of at the Christmas show, everyone's like, we're going out for a punt, Damo. Like, you know, what, you, well, should we meet you at the TAB? He's like, oh, I'm just going to stay here and knit. But now, <laughs> now that you mentioned that, I have made you all a little a, a little cozy uh, for cute. your beers later on. Uh, Teresa, thank you very much. Nicole joins us now. Good morning, Nicole. Is your guy a little bit girly? I have a partner who's a tradie mm. and he likes to indulge himself once a week with a bath bomb in a bath. Oh, and yeah. it's a fruit tingle one. <laughs> a fr- a fruit <laughs> tingle? Specifically fruit tingle. Yeah, I don't think what? I've actually had a bath, uh, let alone a bath bomb in the last... Oh. I don't know. I mean, we, we'd be talking 
over a decade here. What? Really? I don't find them comfortable at all. Oh, I find baths so relaxing. Ben, no. yeah, you're a fan of the I bath. I love a bath. You, what, you do, a what you do is you get some body wash, right? And you put it in there when you add the water and then you get it all sudsy so bubbles yeah. build up. And then you can get a bath bomb if you want a bath bomb if, you know, if you've got that luxury around the place. And then what I do is I also buy magnesium salt. And you can add that in there and then just, oh, you, you come out feeling a million dollars. What do you do, Ben, during I mean, your not bath? A, not a high-performance athlete. You don't need magnesium. Yeah, I know, you, but, you, know, you come I, home from talking on air for three days. I, I better run myself a magnesium <laughs> bath. I get oh, a sore neck. I'm so sore. I get a sore <laughs> neck sometimes. Well, I'm holding up the headphones. So, well, yeah, what do you do during your bath, though, Ben? Are you, uh, are you uh, like, watch something on your phone? Are you no, music? no, no. You... I, I literally, I will light candles. And if it's during the day, uh, if it's like uh, bright outside, yeah. I'll put a towel over the window to stop the light from coming through. Ooh. I want to black it out. I want to light a candle. And then I want to put, put some like uh, meditation music on. Well, uh, Nicole, let us ask you a question. How do you feel about 70 foot long prehistoric sharks? Mm. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, well uh, guess what? He's back for seconds. The Meg 2. You are heading to, to see The Trench, starring Jason oh, Statham. Awesome. Yep. Thank you so much. No worries. Enjoy the film. Uh, obviously, it's had a lot of buzz this week. The, the big movie that everyone's talking about, so enjoy it. Thanks for the call, Nicole. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.